for those unaware, um, the original voice actress for Harley Quinn, uh, named Arlene Sorkin, uh, passed away just a few days ago. She was the literal first interpretation of Harley Quinn ever, including comic books, including, you know, TV, including movies, including anything. She was the first Harley Quinn. And it looks like r slash Batman Arkham is attempting to actually pay respect to this. I'm not going to lie. I, I wasn't planning on making a video on this. It, it seemed kind of, kind of wrong to do seeing as th their intents uh, in doing this are excruciatingly good but it's just I i'm sorry i started scrolling through the subreddit and it feels really weird seeing it like this like for the first time ever like they're just like talking like normal like i have seen man image for so long the original one feels weird to look at true i agree it's very weird <laughs> Also, apparently, One Piece movie. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. Vacation from Insanity has been pretty nice, don't you think? I love this picture. Great picture. <laughs> uh, how would y'all feel if we never went back to Insanity? This is the one I, like, I scrolled just this far, and then I was like, holy shit, it's weird. <laughs> Crying in a corner and bleeding. <laughs> That's such a good reference. What the fuck? What is happening here? Okay, bro. They already went back to Insanity Loki. It's just not in the shit post. Be honest with which Scarecrow is better. Holy shit. It's a normal post. Oh my god. <laughs> or it's just man. It's just a sad man. <laughs> Happy man. <laughs> How do we feel about the new sanity we've gained? Should we continue taking our pills? I, I think it'd be wild. I think it'd be really crazy. It did kind of give the subreddit flavor, though, in character. No. No, they should not. They just shouldn't. They should just stop. Just right now, bro. I have needs now, Alfred. Dirty, horrible needs. What the fuck? Okay. I must jonk. I must jerk. <laughs> Bruh. See, it's not better. <laughs> it's just not better. Wait, the two types of people. Who's this? Thanks in advance. Azrael, a chosen of the Order of St. Dumas, who exactly he is and whether he's a hero or villain depends on the version and who the writer is. The picture you have looks to be from the Batman Arkham series in which the Order of St. Dumas is dedicated to protecting Gotham and want Azrael to be the next Batman. Azrael. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. See, like, that's, that's not a... Ugh. Inmates of Arkham, this is Hugo Strange. Your moments of sanity will only last so long. In the two more days, Protocol 10 will commence. Make every second count as these moments will not last forever. Kiss your loved ones and prepare for what the future holds. Yeah, pretty much. Without insanity, life is meaningless. <laughs> okay. Or liable. <laughs> a real Arkham meme. Oh my god, a real Arkham meme. Holy shit. Why are the snowmen frowning? Are they sad? Okay. Just want to say this is unironically the coolest community on this platform. Oh, wholesome? Thanks, Dick. I appreciate it. I'm proud of you, Dick. <laughs> See, it was, it, it, like this, you could have, you could have had even more wholesome people. <laughs> but nah, the junkling. Anyway, so, uh, what are the new posts? What's new looking like? Oh, a reminder that the subreddit is currently not accepting ship posts or memes to help pay tribute to voice actress Harleen Sorkin, who recently died. Please be respectful. Don't post memes or ship posts and save them until after the 2nd of September. After the 2nd, you can ship post all you want. And he has three comments. Oh, it was 21 minutes ago. Makes sense. The sanity of the Batman Arkham subreddit was restored, but why? What caused the downward spiral of intellectual curiosity and meaningful posts, and why is it back? Must it stay this way? Will it be taken from us again? I don't know. I feel as I can hear now... I, f I feel like they were trying to make me think I had a stroke, dog. Holy shit. Brain hurt. Something in the way. True. Base. This break from insanity has made me found a lore reason to keep going. <laughs> Well, good for you, bro. Theory, what if the Justice League was in space trying to stop Brainiac from coming back to Earth during the events of Arkham Knight? It's That's a reference, bro. <laughs> that's crazy. Is Arkham Origins required to play? That's like an... Oh my god, it's a real question. It's great, you should definitely play it. True. Wow. Real people saying real things that make sense. It's kind of sad. <laughs> 
Like, that was just a normal subreddit. I, why do I miss the, the shit posts? What? <laughs> Okay, just replayed Arkham City. Wait, does anyone else think Rachel Ghoul should have been the main or at least a prominent villain in Arkham Knight? Just replayed Arkham City. Towards the end, there is a lot of talk about how Hugo, basically Raish, had plans to open camps in other cities as well, such as Keystone and Metropolis. Batman says that he's going to stop Raish, and Raish just laughs before the tower explodes, and this whole thing felt like a major setup for another game, only for Raish to return in Knight, a frail old man, and a side mission that you had to pay for. I also think the Azrael side mission in City where he talks about dark times could have been a fitting setup to Raish returning as the main villain. I don't really have any structure to this post, I just think this could have been potentially a far more fitting end of the Batman games instead of forcing Jason Todd into the game and bringing back Scarecrow because of a randomized post credit scene in Asylum. Bane, who received the same post credit scene, only came back for a side mission, for example, and actually didn't come back at all in Arkham Knight. That is valid. That's what we get for not having Paul Dini write the last game in the trilogy. Wow, bro. I just... That that was wild. That was a real post on the subreddit that we just engaged with. That's so wild. How many games have you completed all the Riddler challenges in? Uh, All of them, plus I have a VR headset. That's me. Wow, zero? It's really that crazy? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's nuts. I guess it was only an hour ago, but really, like, majority people have not even completed a single one? That's wild, man. It, it, it takes, like a, like, a, like, a week a game, maybe? Like, not even, like, that much, bro. Like, come on, man. Since the sub is serious, I can finally ask this. Who's your favorite villain from the Arkham series? Mmm. Mmm. It's just Jonkler. I fucking knew it, bro. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Whoa. Deathstroke, nice design and not a bad boss fight. And this person says, three-way tie between Clayface, Penguin, and Mr. Freeze, all for their Arkham City appearances. Freeze was such an innovative boss fight and a character I usually sympathized with, even in Night. Clayface paid off great with a story, plus I remember reading the bio for him in Asylum and wondering, what all could they do with this villain? They could make a really stupid Smash or Pass video, and now I'm the one shitposting and just shamefully self-promoing. Uh, Penguin had an awesome area, come on, the freaking shark, and if I remember right, had this awesome area with a million enemies that could rack up amazing combos, felt like a complete badass during the story. Oh, the... that took me a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The initiation time place. I don't remember what that, what that room was called, but yeah. The mods of the subreddit are awesome. Thanks, mods. All I want to say. Shush. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. I bet they don't get that too often because it's just shit post after shit post after shit post. For a limited time, ask I get a free unlimited mobile line for a year. Really? Sign up today. No, I don't think I will. Anyway, uh, what about top today? How would you all feel if we never back to insanity? One piece, vacation from insanity, man. POV at work, you're temporarily cured of the insanity. It took a lot of sacrifice and determination, but Batman never gave up, gave up on you. He's proud of you. You're finally free from the madness for now. I've read White Knight. I know how this goes. <laughs> I think that's the one where Joker gets temporarily cured and then ends up going right back to insanity for a little bit. That I was going to be insane forever. Thank you, Batman, for beating the shit out of me and throwing me into Arkham Asylum. I really appreciate it. <laughs> All right, then we're going to end the video on that. That's funny. <laughs>